Hi friends! Today we are going to be making a mosaic. This is a really fun art project. We are going to be making a mosaic pumpkin. Do you know what a mosaic is? A mosaic is usually made with glass, ceramics, or stone. And it's put together to make beautiful designs. So we are going to have lots of fun. We are going to be using paper this time for our mosaic. And it's going to be a lot of fun. You ready to have some fun? Let's do it. Are you ready to get started? I am. So the first thing you need for this activity is you need construction paper. You need orange color. It can be any um, shade of orange, green, any shade of green, purple, any shade of purple, and yellow. These are the colors that we're going to use for our pumpkin. If you want to use different colors for your pumpkin, you're free to do that because this is your art project. Those are the colors that I'm using for my pumpkin. And you're going to need some glue. Scissors. I'm using the kids' scissors for the kids. A black marker or a black Sharpie. If you use a black Sharpie, just be careful about it being on your clothes or on the table or anything like that. Um, also, you need a piece of paper or I use this cardboard, um, thin cardboard paper. You can use card paper. You can use um, computer paper that works just as good. And to make it a lot easier, I have a container and I put a paper towel, you can use a sponge or a paper towel, and we're gonna put glue on top of it. Um, that's how we're going to, it's so much easier to just put the glue on the um, damp paper towel or the damp uh, sponge. So then you can just put the little pieces on it quickly and just focus on doing your art. So much easier. And I have this plate that I use to um, separate the colors. And you can put it on a plate or you can just put it on the, on the table, whatever is easier for you guys. So let's get started. Let's make our beautiful mosaic pumpkin. Ready to have some fun? Let's do it. First of all, we are going to be cutting the construction paper and for the child, this is great for practicing um, with the scissors. You put the thumb on the top and you do two fingers down below and practice. And then if they have their elbows up and they're standing up, it makes it easier for cutting also. So I'm gonna do about one inch and just cut all the way across. Now, you can make it easier and it doesn't have to be an inch. You can, it can be as big as you like. This is your project. So to make it easier for the child, you can draw a line and then that way they can practice cutting on the line. Just like this. And then we're gonna cut across. Or if they don't want to cut or they're having a hard time cutting or they're younger children, you can have them tear also. This is great for fine motor skills as well as using the scissors so they can tear with their two little, their two thumbs and then pull apart. This, or they can cut. And when we're done, cutting all these pieces of all the colors. You're gonna cut orange, green, purple, and yellow pieces. And then you're going to go ahead 
and you're going to put them on your plate or put them on the table and get them all ready for your project. So the next step, you need your piece of paper, the one that you're going to be drawing your pumpkin on or the cardboard, whatever you like to draw your pumpkin on. And you need your black marker. So let's start drawing. Are you guys ready to make your pumpkin? So we need the piece of paper and the black marker. And we need to make sure that we leave enough room for our vine. So let's start right here in about the middle. I'm going to put a dot right here. And I'm going to curve and make the line go all the way to the bottom. Then I'm going to take from the dot, I'm going to make it curve. This is the second line. And make it go all the way down. Now, I'm going to take from the dot, I'm going to, we're going to be going to the left this time. So we're going to be going this way to the left. So I'm going to take it this way and it's going to curve to the left. And it's going to go all the way down to the page. Just like that. And don't worry if it doesn't look like my pumpkin, because guess what? There are so many different pumpkins out there in the world. Every single pumpkin is completely different. So it's good for the pumpkins to all look different. Now we're gonna take our fourth line and we're gonna take it from the same spot from the dot and we're gonna go all curved and we're gonna take it all the way down. There's our pumpkin. Now, we are going to make the vine with the stem of the pumpkin. Have you guys ever seen pumpkins before? They grow on vines. Yes. So we are going to take from the dot again. We're going to make it go up. And curved line. Just a line like that. And I'm going to take from here and put a little dot right there. And I'm going to make it go like that. Now we are going to make a square. We're going to close it off and make a square. A square just like that. Are you guys ready to, to do our mosaic now? Now that we have our nice pumpkin draw? I'm ready. So we are going to take the container with a damp paper towel, it can be a damp sponge, and then I'm going to put some glue on it some glue and now I'm going to take my pieces of paper and these can be either torn or they can be cut and these ones I cut and it's good to have different shapes and um, it's good to have different sizes I, I cut these in squares some of them are rectangles and they're different sizes if you want them all the same size that's fine too um, the green ones are going to have to be cut a little bit thinner later on for our vine. So I'm going to take the pieces of construction paper and I'm going to dip it in the, the damp glue and I'm going to put it on my pumpkin. Oh, look at how fun this, how much fun this is.
try to keep the black lines so you can still see the black lines. If, if you can't see them, that's fine too. And I'd like to put some purple on the top of mine. And you'll probably have to put some more glue on eventually. Um, I'm gonna use up a lot of the glue. We are making a mosaic with paper. It's our mosaic pumpkin. How fun is this? Some of the yellow too. Do some of the yellow on top. Because pumpkins are different shades. They even have white pumpkins. Um, when the pumpkins are not ripe, they're a lighter color. And but there are different types of pumpkins. You can even try. I don't know if you've ever seen pumpkins growing before, but they grow on vines. And we're gonna do our vine in just in just a minute here. So cover all of this whole entire space. I'm leaving the black line um, just so it defines the pumpkin, but you can cover over it too, as well. And I'm going to take the green paper that's cut out and I'm going to cut it a little bit thinner um, just so that we can fit it on the vine because if the vine is curved and then putting it right here oops This is great to practice cutting or tearing for the working the muscles and you get to have lots of fun while you're doing it as well. And then I'm going to put yellow on the very end. Dipping it in the glue, nice glue, and then put it on the end here. I hope you guys had lots of fun making your mosaic pumpkin. And you can do lots of different art projects with the mosaics. You could practice cutting with your scissors, and you can do all kinds of things like butterflies, and beach settings, and people, and animals, and flowers. Bye, friends!